Hello. <laughs> like Jesus Christ raised from the dead. Honestly, yesterday, guys, yeah, these lot, um, I was going through a lot of satanic attacks yesterday and the day before yesterday, yeah. Um, otherwise, I would have uploaded this yesterday. Yesterday. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, honestly, guys, I'm so grateful and thankful. Do you know, do you know the real reason why, I'm, do you know, do you know the real reasons why, yeah, I, I record just with my face, yeah? Because... I'm doing certain things basically <laughs> you don't need to know basically but i think i've hinted onto it okay so today's makeup look here yeah. i went for baby pink baby pink look here yeah. do you know this look is actually inspired by you know the brats doll when i was growing up i was watching um brats you know the dolls brats yeah and back then yeah i never saw when I was when I was growing up here, yeah, I never saw um a dark skin, uh, beautiful person on TV. I think before the only people that I saw that was dark skin and beautiful on TV when I was when I was a kid, yeah, um that had makeup and stuff like that, yeah, as well, was um Miss Elliot, <laughs> Miss Elliot when she was out here doing her thing, and um oh my gosh, my lashes coming off. Hold on, hold on. I hope not. Oh, you don't need to get Russian lashes, you know. Mm, hold on, sorry guys. Uh, I don't know, I just need to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> and it come from a war zone battle. Um, yeah, when I was growing up, yeah, the only the only beautiful black people that I saw on TV, like on TV, MTV base back then when I when we used to watch MTV base. Um I'm talking dark skin, dark skin, yeah. Um was Miss Elia and the Brats. You know Sasha from the Brats, yeah. That's the only I'm talking about dark skin, dark skin, dark skin. Obviously we already we already know that like Beyonce, we already know all of them. But um but I'm talking about dark skin colour, dark skin and beautiful as well, yeah. Um, yeah. Was just Miss Celia and um I was born after the Lil Kim era, so I wasn't I didn't grow up in that Lil Kim era. I didn't I didn't get to uh, fully fully enjoy that era i would have loved to have really enjoyed trust me you don't guys you don't understand yeah how important visuals are you know visual that is so important you don't you do not understand yeah um but this look in particular i remember when i first saw the brats dolls yeah and i saw sasha when i saw sasha i was like wow this is actually one of her actual actual one of her makeup looks when i saw her on tv yeah i was like oh my God. like for me that was a big thing that was a huge thing and when i saw her yeah yeah i was like well i want to look like that and ever since then yeah that's where the pink lips well was inspired by hold on guys my lashes i don't want to i don't want them to come off it looks like it's coming off oh i'm so embarrassed oh gosh i hope not hold on i think it's all right i'll still flex man i don't care man. guys honestly i do not have time to be like being a perfectionist you know before yeah before this year i used to be a perfectionist i used to probably be like no all my all my dots need to be in a certain, certain particular way everything needs to be a spe specific specific way yeah so <laughs> i ain't <laughs> the way i'm being attacked by these the satanic mafia yeah <laughs> i ain't got time for all this i ain't got time to be a perfectionist but um yeah so today yeah basically i did like baby pink yeah and i did a lot of contouring and then i did um yeah that's my ma that's my ma thing looking like but yeah yeah i just wanted to add a bit more shape to my face so yeah anyway so welcome back to my youtube channel um honestly guys this journey has been really 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 it's been a blessing honestly i'm really i'm really happy that um you know guess who was the one who inspired me guess who's the one who told me actually to do these videos guess who the holy spirit is like you need to do videos you need to do this he's the one who told me to do it um yeah because before you lot knew me like i said um behind closed doors i was getting attacked satanic attacks witchcraft attacks did you get it and um the intention behind those attacks was to stop me from moving forward so the holy spirit was like you have to start moving forward through the attacks god will teach me how to be um what's the word 
resilient. That's the word, resilient. Like, nah, don't. It's no excuse. <laughs> he'll tell, he, he'll give me a to-do list. The Lord will give me a to-do list. Back then, those days, yeah, the Lord will give me a to-do list, yeah. So you need to do this, this, and this, this, and this. And yeah. And I need you to do this, this, and this. And then, that's how, that's... Those days, I'll, I'll get attacked. Satanically, spiritually. I'll get dealt with. I was getting dealt with, man. Dealt with. And that's why now, when I'm called to use Dotya, it's like, I'm not immune to it, but I'm... So I got a thick skin towards it. Thick skin towards those things. So, um, normally what happens, if you saw my community thing, yeah. I hope you guys... Well, I, hope, I thought it was funny anyways. I thought it was funny, but I hope it was. I hope it makes you, you look, laugh as well, yeah. Um, like I was saying in my previous video, it is actually nice. It's really, really nice, yeah, to be able to have banter. As controversial as this is gonna sound, it's gonna sound real controversial, yeah. Um, it's actually nice to actually have banter with Satanists. Do you know that? Uh, <laughs> I'll see you at three a.m. Yeah, you get dealt with at three a.m. Yeah, you get dealt with. Do you know? What I mean? It's actually really. It's, I think it's. I think. I think. Um, it's a nice thing to be able to relate to someone. Who I think before, I don't think you guys would have been able to relate to a Christian, um, who knew of certain things that you guys do, you know, um, the whole point of these videos, um, is for you guys to be open to see what God is actually doing, how is actually He's still alive, He's still breathing, and just to let you guys know that there is, you know. The Lord is 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 wanting you know you guys to come back to Him. He's not really. Um, his whole agenda is for whole the whole of mankind to come back to Him. That's the whole agenda. That's the whole. That's what it is. Yeah. Um. Regardless of what you've done, you know God has paid the price for it. Obviously, there's certain things that have happened. Like I've said, in my other previous videos, like I've I've dealt with like I've been dealing with people who are you know sacrificing you're doing human sacrifices for like relationships do you know what i mean i'm just like seriously be yeah, as it come to this do you know what i mean so like i understand that dynamic and sometimes there is a conscience when you do these things you know this is a conscience you know it's not just like oh there is i'm sure there are regrets you know um so for you guys it might just be a process you know of forgiving yourself you know Obviously, in Christianity, the devil, he only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's John 10.10, 10, steal, kill, and destroy. So, you know, any demonic blessings only going to come with sorrow, you know. Whereas if you, with God, all his blessings come without sorrow. And you have to understand, um, guys, that Satan, you know, they'll be like, oh, why do Christians always look like they're always struggling? And you have to, I'm going to be completely transparent, yeah. Um, I actually don't care, do you know. I actually do not care. Like, you remember the, the other day I was saying, yeah, oh, I can't see certain, certain things because I'll get attacked. Um, I'll go through satanic attacks based on those certain, certain things. But, do you know, I just realized, yeah, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I can't, I literally do not care. Like, you, you guys, when you, when you need to understand, yeah, when you get attacked, yeah, when you go through satanic attacks, yeah, trust me, it puts you in a place where. Okay, the stereotypical black girl me was coming. <laughs> stereotypical black girl, yeah. Oh my days. The certain people like the Lord warned me today. Yeah, don't say nothing about nothing. Uh, no one. I was like, okay, cool, fine. You know, trust me today. Oh, this video in particular. See, I'm already KMT and I'm already KMT and I'm already, you know, getting charged up, charged up. You know, certain things, man, happening. I was getting so annoyed. <laughs> guys it'll be so like for example yeah okay i'm not even gonna say an example because if i start saying it then these are gonna get ideas and then come and attack me i ain't got time for that um like seriously guys i'm actually being serious yeah um so yesterday for example it was like almost a whole day yesterday and the day before as well oh god you saw when i put out the video yeah you saw yeah um the lord had the lord also had certain words to say about black people not supporting each other he had certain words to say about, you know, 
the Lord is out here, yo. He's out here G-checking a lot of people, yo. Not, not like, in a sense, like, trying to make people look bad or anything, but he really wants... Um, there's certain things in the world that the Lord wants to, you know, deal with that would make this world a better place. If that's the best way I could say it, you know? Um, the Lord had something to say about black people not supporting each other. Yeah. I didn't I didn't look, I didn't I didn't pay attention to it because like I said, I was getting attacked. Did you get it? But um there are certain things and the Lord really does really want our community, black community to be um elevated as well. I remember, I remember I told you in the previous video, like way back, way back, yeah, that um racism is not racism is not natural. Racism is not a natural thing. Racism um is instigated by a spirit called the spirit of division. I remember the Lord taught me that um years back. He taught me that years back. Um there's a spirit of division, yeah, that there's two types, there's different types here, but there's a specific spirit of division that enforces racism to create a division between mankind um it's part of the whole set it's a part of the whole satanic agenda because once it's i have to cross check over that what, what the lord taught me back then yeah but basically um like god's all about the whole world becoming like one how he made it originally anyways um so you know <laughs> guys <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it's like almost like 2.30 a.m. So like 30 minutes towards like the witching hour. So I have to be, I have to be ready. Um, But I had to put out a video because I had to, you know, be on point, basically, be on point. Yeah. Um. So first and foremost, um, Hold on, yeah. Like I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit tired, yeah. I'm a bit tired, and I realized, yeah, yesterday, yeah, these are sent like some weird satanic um thing to make me extremely tired, extremely tired. Do you know why? Do you know why? You see how I'm looking chiseled now, eh? 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 eh. Do, do you see? Trust me, trust me, guys. These, this is this stuff is real. You see how now these days I'm looking chiseled, looking, you know, my apple cheeks are coming through nicely. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've got a structured face now, you know, like, oh, doing Vogue and fashion stuff, like, that's, that's, do you know what I mean? But that's obviously, like, obviously, like, um, self-development. I'm really into self-development. I really do believe there's always another level of bearing yourself, so, um, and plus, even in general, walking with Jesus Christ, when you're walking with the Lord, yeah, he'll always point out, okay, you see this area, yeah, we need to tighten up on this area, we need to sort this area, we need to sort this area. Anyway, so, um, moving on from that, yeah, I'll go back to the whole black people not supporting each other. I'll make another video on that because I wanted to speak to the Lord on that and pray about that, um, yeah, and then I'll do another video. Um, but, um, today's video is basically just to say a big fat thank you again. Guys, I'm so happy that like, you don't understand, yeah. For me, yeah, um, like I said, I'm an introvert. Do you get it? Like, I don't do this whole screaming and shouting thing. So, for me to do these videos, yeah, and seeing how it's affecting people's lives in a positive way, for me, that's a big thing. Because for me, guys, you have to understand, yeah, when I get attacked, when I get satanically attacked, yeah, trust me yesterday all my days when literally do you see the views and all this and that that was through that was all these lot you have to understand because obviously i'm being i'm outspoken about all these like secret societies and this and that um you have to understand i realized the other day yeah i actually realized that when i was going through the whole um when god embarrassed daniel basically yeah <laughs> i realized that I, when i mentioned certain things yeah um, I shouldn't have mentioned certain things, basically. I shouldn't have said certain things because I felt like it was, um, it prevented certain groups to be blessed, to get it? Certain groups to enjoy what I'm doing and stuff like that. So I realised, um, because back then I didn't know, I didn't know about these, all these, I didn't know about the potential, how do I say, I didn't know if I could post it, like, getting you guys... I don't want to get anyone in trouble, basically. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. So, um, um, I've also noticed that YouTube has also um, reduced my my reach, if that makes sense. It's on purpose, guys. It's on purpose for a reason. You get it? It's on purpose for a reason, yeah. So, um, 
don't worry the lord has my back he's got a plan he showed me certain certain things so i'm cool um because what i'm talking about is extremely interesting Do you get it what i'm talking about yeah it's not like oh this is not this is not this is not research what i'm talking about what i'm talking about is what i'm actually going through do you get it so i understand guys it's fine i'm not i'm not swayed by numbers me personally i'm not um i'd rather give you a potent dose of positivity that you would always remember yeah <laughs> you would come back you know the ones there so um today's topic yeah i was actually just gonna i was stemming off from the fact of what it's like to go through satanic satanic attacks yeah because like i said um i was saying just before yeah that you know christians in this world yeah um i feel like they they look a certain type of way or they're made to look a certain type of way it's that's that's done on, that's that is actually done on purpose yeah um how would i say it? where would i even begin because i'm a prophet yeah it's a different it's a high level of spirituality it's a high level yeah so um and within that high level there's other levels <laughs> so i was mentioning on the video that if you want to be powerful spiritually yeah on the christian side anyways um you have to be ready to be tested by each demon you know yeah, each fallen angel come and test you yeah come and test you and you have to overcome you have to overcome each one every time you overcome each one yeah you get you get powerful more power you have to overcome this one this one this one so you're always being tested um in the bible they call it they call it the fiery fiery trials when i say fiery trials yeah when i say fiery trials yeah i'm talking about uncomfortable times that's what i'm gonna say that's the best way i can say it but in a way it forces you to change does that make sense like you have to change in order to overcome that's that's the best way i say it. that's the best way i can say it so where i left off in terms of what i was saying yeah that dramatic pause though you just, you just see that dramatic pause basically where i left off is um i'm really really happy with um you guys actually benefiting from these videos that i put out you have to understand guys the way i get attacked behind closed doors yeah but the way i get attacked yeah trust me if it wasn't for the lord saying don't say anything yeah you know me guys i'll be out here popping off and i'll be out here exposing everyone <laughs> i have to be honest i have to be honest with you guys um but it's worth it's worth it's worth being attacked it is worth it it is worth it um for me you have to remember like for me yeah for me every time i release something on youtube or i release a word or anything like that yeah i i pay the price for it do you know what i mean like satan's not happy with me exposing certain things exposing certain truths he doesn't want you use lot to be free you have to remember um he is obviously i don't know him personally you know but i can imagine he's very controlling do you know what i mean um very prideful very arrogant obviously very evil you know um so there's no i feel like there's no safety do you know what i mean so for me to put out all these videos for you guys especially you satanists that watch me uh, i feel like maybe it's a light of hope for you guys um i can imagine how um dark things can really get you know um i remember back then when i was going through hard times way back when i was like when i came out of uni university yeah um like i'm black i don't and i don't i i'm i'm black yeah i don't listen to rock so for me to listen to that rock music yeah hey <laughs> the only rock tunes i used to listen to was scar lord because his ones are more like urban rock do you know what i mean so i remember them days were so hard like i'm telling you guys if it wasn't for these um if it wasn't for certain certain people that watch me and you know um try and try and attack me and things like that yeah guys i would i'd be able to open up to you guys about a lot of things that i've managed to overcome through god um a lot of emotional things um a lot of a lot of things man a lot of things um i know i mentioned mental health before like these are a lot you know mental health yeah can i be honest with you that's actually spiritual that's more spiritual than it is it's more spiritual than it is um natural i'll be honest with you um guys we can go real deep we can go real deep that's the reason why 
idiot people like Rachel will send certain for certain certain spirits that do that 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 have um those type of natures to like try and like harm me. Um, so that's an example. So guys, this is real serious, yo. This is actually real serious stuff and these are things that um that God can, you know, set people free from and I'm I'm glad that He chose me to to be able to even speak to certain certain groups because sometimes guys there's only certain certain people that can speak to certain certain type of people you know there's only a certain type of group that can speak to a certain type of people in order to set them free if that makes sense um i'm a firm believer of if you've experienced freedom in certain areas yeah um then are you qualified to be able to um give advice you know the worst are oh, guys you know you guys you guys know the worst ones yeah someone giving you advice they ain't been through and they they ain't even been through nothing basically or they even never they've never been through that particular thing that you've been through but yet they want to give advice and judge you that, that those are the worst the ones especially the ones that want to judge you just the worst ones worst ones so um yeah that's what the lord wants wants to do for a lot of a lot of people that are going through certain certain type of things um I was thinking to myself, um, should I let out another secret in terms of um, how to... Mm. I have to play my cards right, man. I'm not going to lie, yeah. I don't mind sharing stuff, yeah. But guys, be unique, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't mind. But honestly, guys, do do also be be authentic. If you want to take any ideas from me, I don't, I don't have any problem with that, yeah. I don't have a problem with that, yeah. The only way which I have a problem is when it's like you're taking my stuff and then you're using it. You you're not you're not being a, like you're not you're not. What's the word? This thing that I'm doing yeah is not a competition. This thing I'm doing this whole thing I'm not in, I'm not competing with anyone. I'm not competing with anyone, guys. You need to understand yeah. Um, behind the scenes yeah, behind closed doors yeah, I go through a lot. I go for a lot. I don't even talk about it. I actually do not even. You've seen, you've seen the whole, you know, drama between you know the 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 love triangle, whatever. Yeah, that's part of it. Behind closed doors, yeah. If I was to go into real detail, like real detail on what these all have done and things like that, yeah, a lot of you guys would be actually disgusted if I was to tell you, yeah, how evil certain people are. Yeah, so, um behind closed doors guys i go through a lot so for me yeah, i'm not in any competition with any anyone i'm not trying to compete with anyone i actually do not even have time to compete i'll be honest with you i actually don't know that's the reason why i always say if you see something that you like yeah, you can take it it's fine because the whole point of it is for you to be drawn into christ you know if the holy spirit will tell me to do this and do a certain look yeah and you like it that's fine that's fine because the whole point that's the whole point that is the whole point you know to draw you to christ you look heavenly today, uh, like you know what I'm saying. Like I can, I can, I can, I can actually say that to you. Oh my God, that that look is so heavenly on you, so beautiful. Oh my God, it came from heaven. You know, what a compliment. You know, the whole point is for you to come to Christ. That's the whole point. So, um, yeah. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Um. I remember the other day, yesterday, I think it was, yeah, the other day, yeah, I was saying something about my um, making a business email, yeah. Guys, because do you know what it is, yeah? I have my normal email, yeah, and I've got, like, more than a thousand, 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 thousand emails, yeah, I haven't even opened up. And that's the reason why I was saying, oh, spam, I don't want to get in a spam. I didn't mean it in a rude way. I didn't mean it in a rude way. Um, yeah, so, I'm going to create some sort of way that, you know, I can be contacted. Guys, you need to understand, I'm by myself. I don't have a squad. <laughs> I don't have a crew you know so um that's why i like to make sure i keep things raw you know keep it keep it raw and keep it authentic i don't like to pretend i try not to um put on a i'm not trying to put on a show or anything like that because i want you guys to really enjoy it and really make decisions for yourself um yeah um so i was just checking in i want to say hi um also this is a side note side note um for anyone who's like for anyone else here who's also um you know i don't i don't want to say it how it is in my mind but basically if you're doing any um 
I don't want to say exposing certain in industries, but what I will say is, guys, you have to understand how important it is to be protected. It is extreme, guys. It is extremely important, yeah, for you guys to be be protected. If you'd be saying certain certain things, yeah, specifically yeah, about certain certain groups, yeah, it is highly important for you to be protected. Okay, on my community page, if you go on my community, on my page, yeah, on my YouTube, yeah, if you go on the community tab, yeah, if you scroll, scroll, scroll down, yeah, you'll see the testimony of um of when when the lord dealt with you know dealt with um daniel if you scroll up a little bit um i'll I'll, i've left um you can read that testimony guys i was shocked that day i was actually really shocked because um i was shocked that he did it immediately uh i was shocked you that, that must mean the lord was really angry you know that's that that means that the lord was extremely angry and i mentioned i mentioned that the Lord did give, you know, him, you know, Daniel a lot of chances to correct himself. But, I mean, if you want to be, a, you know, if you're making certain, certain decisions, then, you know, you know, the Lord said, don't, don't talk about that topic anymore. He doesn't, the Lord doesn't even want me to talk about that topic anymore. So, yeah, and I think it's about time that we've moved on from it because, you know, to show you why, um, it's preventing you guys from being blessed. You see, the other day when I was giving out words to other people like drake and other people i can do that for a lot of people do you know that? and there's so many things that the lord wants to bring to the table hold on guys a minute okay be right back here be right back hold on i have to be quiet happy mother's day <laughs> oh god Yeah, it's getting a little personal, you know. <laughs> but I don't like mentioning him on here. I don't like mentioning him on here. I don't like mentioning him on here. Because, um, and these are, like to attack him as well. Yeah. Being honest. Being honest. You yeah. know? So, I've said my truth on certain things. Do you know what I mean? Um,. It is what it is. I've apologised. I've tried to make things right. You know. So. Awkward. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. So what I was trying to say, yeah. What was actually, what was I actually talking about? There is, there is something that I actually do want to talk about, yeah. It's about the, the four horsemen. The four horsemen, yeah. These are the four spirits, yeah, that are gonna... These are part of the end times. Yeah. I literally just saw it now, and that is the, I, I want to learn about that and share about that um, with you guys as well. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, so, yeah, I moved on from... I moved on from talking about these two. Um, I, like, for example, the other day, you guys were blessed, right? When I was sharing certain, certain words on certain directions that certain certain people should be taking you know based on what i was getting spiritually so um you see how that blessed you guys you know so these are certain things this is part of the prophetic gift it's part of the gift um the lord will show it's called um it's called words of knowledge um actually every single believer can do this you know that. um but you just have to build that relationship with god and he will open it up to you um like I said, guys, because I'm not, cause, cause I'm not um, pre-planned, if that makes sense. Cause I always record in the moment, as and when I can. Honestly, guys, the whole day yesterday, yeah, whole day yesterday, all these astral projection people work. Like, trust me, I was getting so like, guys, I was actually getting really annoyed. I was actually getting really annoyed. I was getting annoyed because it's like. I'm not gonna say it, actually. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna give attention to people that don't deserve it, you know. Um, but I learned a lot though. That's what I will say. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. Um, I'm happy. Um, so happy, guys. I was on. I actually was. I was on Instagram, yeah. And um, you know, no, I'm not gonna say it. What I'm going to say, yeah, is I'm seeing certain, certain brands, yeah, that are 
are watching me basically i've seen i've seen their pages yeah i was like oh my god these are watching me ah cool hey if i was to tell you the brand yeah hey it's an honor y'all it's an honor it's an honor so um yeah if you are a believer in christ please do pray for me honestly like that would actually help and i will do i will create an email do you know what i mean to sort of like connect with everyone as well because i feel like that's needed as well when i when i started this youtube journey yeah you have to understand i was being persecuted <laughs> like literally so i didn't do it with the intention of connecting with people i started these videos with the intention of um defending myself and exposing the truth so i wasn't really here for like connecting with people so i am now that like, i'm settled i'm settled now i've calmed down now so things are things are moving nicely now so i'm very happy and i'm very blessed i'm actually really excited about where these things will be going um um is there anything else that the lord wants to share with you guys for now not just yet he wants me to do other other things but most of what I, what I, what i want to do as well is to do things that will actually benefit you guys as well it's particularly your walk with god and number two particularly these satanists like i really do crazy enough here yeah, as much as you do attack me <laughs> i have grown fond towards you you know um yeah everyone deserves a second chance everyone deserves a chance more than just a second chance you know um god is a god of love and he really does you know want you guys to come back see when you're dealing with people who deal with witchcraft you know witchcraft yeah the reason why the lord is very specific about them ones is very um what's the word should i say hot he doesn't he doesn't play. when it comes to witchcraft and satanic satanic exposure god does not even play games he even tells me off you know if i do not deal with certain things yet he'll tell me off he's like this is sin if you do not deal with this yeah you you know you know so i get in trouble that's how serious it is guys um you have to understand that um satan is always out here to try and embarrass people trying to like i said in my community if you go through my community i think um if you're not if you're not protected and you're not you're not walking with the lord yeah he's out here he's out here trying to make a point you know satan will try to use you to make a proof point you know um they call him in the bible he's written it's written as he comes as a roaring lion seeking whom he might seeking whom he wants to devour but the thing is he's a roaring lion but he ain't got teeth because jesus christ knocked him out you get it <laughs> no seriously that's actually being serious he makes noise he'll in your through your circumstances yeah he will bluff and blow like through your circumstances you'll be like trying to make certain certain things happen to try and like get you in fear and be intimidated but it's all bluff it's all bluff it's all bluff so um i will touch on spiritual warfare and things like that um and i will recommend other um believers in christ who are you know they're they're like pastors and um evangelists and you know other ranking people who um are very shall i say what's the word skilled in these areas extremely skilled in these areas and um will, uh, will actually be able to you know help you guys but like i said guys this is actually what i wanted to do actually really touch on and talk on guys you have to understand is extremely guys it's extremely important to be protected these days you know that um on my community thing just scroll down you'll see there's i've tagged in like three or four prayers and i need you guys to make sure you're praying the blood of jesus that is prior that one when you wake up in the morning yeah priority 3 a.m 3 a.m blood of jesus after midnight after midnight you want to do blood of jesus prayer um 3 a.m blood of jesus um angelic protection angelic protection is extremely important y'all extremely important you because you guys don't see in the spiritual realm yeah you guys for you it'd be like a normal day but spiritually there's so much going on in the spiritual realm so much things going on yeah you don't even know what's you don't even realize what's actually going on so every time you wake up in the morning yeah i, I need you guys to pray the blood of jesus prayer and angelic protection prayer before you go to bed yeah pray the blood of jesus angel protection and also the 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 um the prayer 
the bedroom the bed bedtime prayer one um these say these satanic people they can they can attack you through your dreams and if once they tap you through your dreams yeah once they tap you through your dreams yeah guys i'm telling you guys we can go real deep we can go real deep but basically these people can tap you they can access your dreams like satan can access your dreams yeah and program certain things to happen in your life in the future through your dreams so if you don't block it through prayer yeah all these bad bad things will be happening through to you through your dreams and that's how he also steals blessings and that, that's how and they also do um um his agents the people that worship him they do sex they can um project themselves into your dreams have sex with you in your dreams yeah and inject illnesses and sicknesses guys this is what's been going what i've been going through it's chris uh, trust me it's a lot um a lot of things man a lot of things so you know stay blessed guys and um <laughs> i was gonna say if you've got any relationship problems yeah let me know <laughs> i'll come help you out guys. i'll come help you out like, honestly guys these like reassigned the spirit husband again to me do you know what i mean like the other day i was telling you i was telling you guys yeah these are trying to attack me based on what i've been saying they reassigned they reassigned the spirit husband to me what the spirit husband does yeah i'll go into a bit more detail right now what the spirit husband does yeah um like i said it will cut off any if, if you're a guy and me and you're talking or whatever yeah this spirit husband will attack you like it will cause like bad circumstances to happen to you or you know you know because it's, it's, it, it, it operates like a, as if it's a real husband it operates like as a real husband yeah and um it'll try to attack you or sabotage the connection um number two when i go to sleep yeah when i go to sleep yeah this spirit husband will like try and make make love to me like honestly guys this is actually you know there's there's a story uh i've actually heard stories of um um women um who these are just these are like atheists like unbelievers they don't they don't believe anything but they they do have an open sense to like another world yeah there was this story of this woman yeah um i heard this off like um like a morning show tv you know the women shows like loose women or good morning tv or something like that there's this woman yeah she was on the show in it she's on the show and um she was this um white woman yeah and um she was talking about they were talking about still talking about supernatural things funny enough that day and um this woman yeah she was talking about how she has a relationship with this spirit and obviously these lot were like what this is way before this is way before i even knew um of this this is way before like years years back yeah and um this woman was like yeah, yeah i have um a spirit i think like some sort of boyfriend or whatever well, <laughs> something like that and then this spirit yeah um it has sex with her like literally like as if it's someone standing there and she enjoys it i'm like back then when i heard these things I'm like whoa what how do you see and he's like yeah it moves certain things in my like this stuff is real yeah? and this is someone from this is someone who is an unbeliever or someone who's like you, you could say an atheist spiritual stuff this, this stuff is real so this is what i'm saying is extremely important to pray protection prayers every morning every morning when you wake up first thing you do pray those blood of jesus and um angels to protect you and your family out and every night particularly around midnight yeah do that as well do that as well it's better to be safe than sorry yeah i'll be honest with you it's actually better to be safe than sorry um and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it man um sincere apologies this was actually i meant to actually upload this yesterday but like I said, these lot were sending satanic storms my way. Like, like I said, I actually do not have time for these satanic storms yet. I've got things to do. Don't want to say. <laughs> but it's training me though. It's training me. The Lord is like, oh, I'm using this to train you. So don't worry. Don't worry. I'm using all this to train you. Don't worry. So, you know, every everything I'm going through is a blessing in disguise. The things that people have done are doing behind the scenes to try and hurt and harm me. But it's actually really blessing me because i'm learning so much and it's strengthening me and i've i've i'm not phased 
you know like i said god has really built me to be resilient so i would like to go to more detail about satanic attacks i was going to share on the certain signs that you are being attacked through witchcraft witchcraft is satanic attacks basically that is basically what it is guys i go up against yeah i'm going up against yeah satanic prophets and priests get it so you know i have to make sure i'm on point you get it oh gosh it's a lot man so and and um i'm grateful i'm grateful don't get me wrong i'm actually really grateful to even be going through this journey yeah but at the same time um it's a, it's a responsibility and um yeah don't worry i'm gonna say something else i thought you know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter but anyways guys i just want to say thank you for this journey um thank you for your time as well thank you for even wanting to check me out as well um i'm hoping that this really does you know bless you and uh open your eyes to what god really is like um if you do feel led to give your life to christ um i will put the the, the salvation prayer and i will um create a email just for you as well to contact me as well yeah because like i said guys you know as an introvert yeah you have to understand we really do like our so we do like quiet <laughs> we're not trust me especially as a as an empath yeah introvert yeah connecting with a lot of people is a big thing it's a big deal for us so emotion it takes a lot out of us emotionally um so you know um i have to improve in that area <laughs> i have to i have to it's a must um but yeah i saw certain things on instagram and i was so happy um and it's a compliment <laughs> uh god is great yeah honestly god is great honestly guys what was meant for harm yeah that was sent my way god turned around for good i'm telling you that now i think there's scripture i'll put the scripture verse in that trust me guys everything that was sent to me done to me to harm me yeah, has been turned around for good it's been turned around for good so i'm happy you know i'm really happy if i was to tell you for what i saw yeah certain things i saw yeah i'm so happy um i'm so grateful for everything and for me do you know do you know what the most the most rewarding thing is should i tell you what the most rewarding thing is yeah um is to have satanic people that watch me that for me is rewarding do you know that? that to me tells me that i'm doing something right and the fact that i got your guys attention for me is a compliment do you know what I mean? Because these are used to taking the piss out of Christians. Taking the piss out of Christians, you know what I mean? So I must be something different, you know? Yeah, I can give you guys the same banter as well. <laughs> like on my community the other day. Oh, I ain't got time for I ain't got time for your satanic storms. Sending sending satanic storms my way, which I ain't got time for. Honestly, guys. <laughs> okay. Um these lashes, by the way, guys, invest in Russian lashes um these are fake ones so these are not the real ones but um i would recommend huda beauty huda beauty um her lashes yeah beautiful um tatty lashes beautiful i've not tried those are the two main ones that i i've tried now i can give i haven't tried anyone else's after that um and i saw russian lashes i saw these um white girls use russian lashes and i thought oh let me invest and I've never gone back since then. It looks natural, do you get it? But it's it's got fake, the fake connotations to it. Do you know what I mean? But they're more natural, natural based. But um, yeah, yeah. Hi right, guys, I leave you lot to it. I just came in to say hi and just to chit chat. Um, honestly, guys, I wish you lot all the best, and I'm very very excited for our journey together. I'm very, very excited. I'm extremely excited. Um, I've learned so there's so many things I've seen today, yeah, that I'm gonna share later on, yeah, in the coming videos, and I'm really, really excited for your guys' journey, and I really hope that um you guys grow closer to God and become more spiritual. And I want you lot to be powerful as well spiritually. Do you know that? I need you lot to be spiritually powerful as well because, I mean, it'd be nice to have a squad. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, create a group. Like, I'll meet you lot on YouTube at 3am. Yeah, let's do these lot. 
Do you know what I mean? You just look and help me deal with these satanic mafias. You know? Honestly, guys, yes, there was under sat satanic, pr like, going through satanic pressure, yeah. Trust me, when you go through satanic pressure, yeah, it's um, long, it's long, man, it's long. But you have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. It strengthens you. It strengthens you, yeah, but... Like, honestly, it's like them ones. I'm trying to make tea, innit? And then all these... Ugh. I'm trying to have tea and biscuit, man. What is this? Anyways, <laughs> I'll leave you up to it, yeah. Um, this is just for me to say hello. And um, just say thank you. And I'm just grateful for everything. I'm honestly grateful for everything. Um, I was going to say feel free to drop certain, certain topics and areas that you would like for me to discuss. I am waiting to get more information for the LGBT community as well. Like I said, I don't want to be talking on things, yeah that I have no knowledge on or no experience in or no backing in. Do you know what I mean? So I wanna keep things nice, clean, authentic. Um so you lot can actually really take from it and receive from the Lord as well. Yeah, he's not the Lord is not um he's not what's the word? He loves he loves you guys, LGBT LGBT community. He's not he's not anti He's not anti. And the day he all he wants to do is for you to come back to him, come back in love, in in his love. That's it. Um, it's which is you know you know it is guys. It's actually crazy how how weird it is. Yeah, it's like all this time we've all been taught to be religious, but the Lord is anything but religious. And I didn't even know that myself until I started when I answered the call of God in my life. Yeah, realize how spiritual God is. You don't understand how much God loves man mankind to the point that god himself died on the cross to save mankind to save you god loves you so much yeah to the point yeah he he himself took the bullet for you yeah so that you would be in heaven with him regardless of what you've done even if you became a satanist that's how bad that's how bad like that's how bad god wants you back you know um so or even if whatever you feel is not good enough for god to accept you his 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 blood is more powerful and he in in god's mind yeah when you ask him for forgiveness on certain things he he forgives and he forgets as if you've never done it as if you've never done it you, to him once you receive jesus christ as lord and savior yeah you're literally standing in front of god as you're you've never sinned in your whole life you're a literally perfect person honestly that's how it is that's how it is so he's really not that's what i'm saying it's better to come to him if you feel like you're messed up <laughs> Come to him messed up. He wants you to come messed up, yeah. Rather than you say, no, nah, I'm going to sort myself out. And then and then once I'm sorting myself out, then I'll come. No, no. He wants you to come as you are. Come as you are. And let him help you sort you out. That's that's the, that's what got me to this level. It was never, oh, um, let me sort myself out. Last year, yeah, when I was saying things, last year, that's what, I was like, let me do this myself. And that's why certain things happened last year. But only God understood. Back then, I didn't know about spiritual realm. I didn't understand about spiritual. But now I do. You know, Holy Spirit reveals certain... Oh, he revealed everything to me. So, guys, you can tell that I'm just like... <sighs> go sleep, yeah? <laughs> I can't sleep anyways. It's almost... It should be three o'clock now. So, I'm going to pray. And, um... Battle now. Okay, so I'll speak to you all later. I hope you are blessed. Don't stress. And um, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Alright, take care. Bye-bye.